EA Sports. It's in the game. What's up, Madden NFL 12 fans? Z Farles here from PrimaMadden.com. Today we're taking a look at the San Francisco 49ers playoff run and looking to implement some strategies to get a three-gap rushing attack in our game. The 49ers have had great consistency all season at the running back position, and of course that starts with Frank Gore, 92 speed, 91 trucking ability, and 98 vision. Of course, you also have a great backup with Kendall Hunter. He's the more elusive of the pair, 91 speed and 94 agility. Here at the pause menu, we select coaching options, set audibles, offensive audibles. By changing just one audible, we can have a three-gap rushing attack with just the press of a few buttons. Here we go by formation, I form, tackle over, and select HB Toss. Now let's head into the game. At the play calling screen, we're going to select I form, tackle over, and we're going to choose HB Power O. Now we come out in the HB Power O because now we have three possible runs that we can do from this formation. Our quick audible is the HB Dive up the middle. Our halfback Power O is the play we selected and show us running here. And then also we can now access the HB Toss that we put into our audibles. So if the defense starts to stack the outside of the line, we can press X, X, right stick down on Xbox or square, square, right stick down on PlayStation 3 and audible to the halfback dive. And also we can press X, X, Y or square, square, triangle on PlayStation 3 to audible to the HP toss. This allows us to hit the A gap, the B gap or the C gap with our runs in just a change of a button. Now that you know the three runs we'll be using, let's take a look at how we run each run. Here's the HP power O. The key to this run is watching this linebacker here. We have the pulling guard, so if he comes outside, we want to cut back inside. And if he comes inside, we want to go to the outside. Here's a good example of Frank Gore. He starts to hit that inside hole. He holds it just long enough for the linebacker to get sucked inside, and then he breaks this run to the outside. This is a great way to help get the seal of your blockers, and Frank Gore is very capable once he gets to the edge of taking the run the distance. Here Frank Gore sets up his run to the outside, gets the linebacker to commit, and then cuts back inside. This is why I don't recommend holding down turbo until you decide to make your cut and then put your head down and pick up yards. One weakness of the tackle over formation is it doesn't have many standard runs to the weak side. Most online players have picked up on this and will stack the box to the right. Here we're going to use the right stick to flip the HP power O motion over Vernon Davis next to our left tackle, which is actually our backup tight end. Davis is able to slip to the second level and seal Frank Gore for a touchdown. This is only a move you want to use if players are really stacking the box to the right side. Here you see the guard pulls around, Vernon Davis is able to pick up a block and Frank Gore goes the distance. Once we have the defense worried, we can quickly audible to our quick run audible down, which is XX right stick down or square square right stick down. This halfback dive up the middle will keep the defense honest, they won't be able to stack the outside. Frank Gore puts that head down using the right stick and is going to pick up consistent yards that keep the chains moving and Alex Smith in manageable third down situations. Lastly, if the defense starts to bring the safeties down into the box to stop the run up the middle on short yardage plays, we have the quick ability to audible to the toss and get Frank Gore on the edge out into space. Here you can see Gore take the pitch, get in behind the fullback. He starts to turbo once he reaches that corner and if we can hold our blocks downfield, we're going a long ways. While Frank Gore can carry the load, don't forget about Kendall Hunter. His agility rating is a great complement to Frank Gore in the open field and could really help put some pressure on that defense. One more holiday bonus tip for my EA Sports guys. When we get into the red zone, what we want to do is take the I-form tackle over formation and either use the right stick to use the dual halfback package or simply use RB or R1 on PlayStation 3 to sub Frank Gore into fullback, call the fullback dive, and when we snap the ball, what we want to do is hold X or square on PS3. Frank Gore will jump up, dive into the end zone, and get in for six. Hopefully the Niners formula of great running and defense will carry them far in the playoffs, guys. This is Z Farles once again from PrimaMadden.com. Tune in to This Week in Madden. It's a live weekly Madden tip show every Wednesday night at 8.30, running all the way through the Super Bowl, guys. We'll see you in the lab.